It is time now for your Sunday money. Please beg your eight year old or 18 year old or maybe your 28 year old <laughs> son. They're asking for money and if you can't say no, you actually might be financially enabling your children. Hmm. We are joined now by our Money Man certified financial planner, Paul Fain, a father of three. Mm -hmm. And if your kids are watching, they're saying, Dad, really? You're bringing <laughs> this up? Are you tattletaling? This is kind of like a child's job description, though, asking their parents for money. But sometimes that can be harmful and not helpful. Right, yeah. You may be in the toy store and your child says, I've got to have that. Everybody's heard that. Or, <laughs> you know, you're, you may have an older child, even an adult child said, now, you know, I promise I'll pay you back this time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, over 60% of parents uh, contribute in some way to their children's financial planning uh, the, even when they're out of school. Mm -hmm. When is there that line where it's um, harmful behavior to continue to keep saying yes? Well, I think, you know, if you see your child having a sense of entitlement where, you know, mm -hmm. they feel like they're owed something without doing mm. anything to earn it, that's a problem. And, you know, you can actually uh, disable your child just not by not teaching them important skills of financial independence. As a parent, why is it that parents want to enable? Well, <laughs> you know, trying to be helpful. as a financial planner, the number one concern I have is are you sacrificing at the expense of your own financial plan? Mm -hmm. You know, for example, saving for retirement yeah. or, or maybe you're in retirement. And, and sacrificing your own well-being. You know, unfortunately, it often gets to a place where the parent can't say no, but they resent it. Mm. And so an anger builds uh, and, and, and it invades the relationship, Leslie, of the parent and the child. And they probably both feel it at a point, but don't stop the pattern. What can you do to change it? Maybe if your kids aren't quite that 28 year old adult right. yet, start it you know, now. Well, you know, habits. it's okay to say, I'm, <clears throat> I need someone to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. That, you know, quite honestly, could be a counselor that just gives you the verbiage, the words, uh, the techniques. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it could be a financial planner, somebody that's skilled in financial life planning that, again, helps you kind of word how to say no. But in, more importantly, uh, perhaps how to teach your child at any age how to be financially independent and financially literate. Yeah, start that off on a, on a good note and something that they'll pass on to their future children as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Paul, on to our fast market fact. Well, we had a viewer question, Leslie, about how do I know if I've saved enough for retirement? Mm -hmm. So we could draw upon the simple rule of 4%. You know, generally, if you've got a diversified portfolio and yeah. you live 20 or 30 years, you can withdraw about 4% from your portfolio. So if you've amassed about 300,000 by the time you retire, 4%, that'd be about 12,000 a year. If you've been fortunate to amass maybe 800,000 in your total retirement and savings and brokerage accounts, 4% would be about 32,000. We're just trying to give people context. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've been a Uber but, saver yeah. and, and a savvy investor and you've got, you know, over a million five, that generate about 5,000 mm -hmm. a month. So that kind of helps people frame, well, you know, I'm, hey, I'm right on track. That's about mm -hmm. what I would need to supplement social security or a pension or a rental income from real estate. Or a person might say, ooh, gut check. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I need to keep working a little longer. Yeah, I really like that. Interesting. And you know, you said that was a viewer question. Where can we continue to, continue to send you questions if yeah. we have them, our viewers? Love them. Paul at assetplanningcorp.com and we'll work them in. Excellent, Paul. We always appreciate it.